from Rixie. This is Frameform, a podcast discussing movies, moving, and everything in between. I'm Hannah Weber. I'm Jen Ray. And I'm Claire Schweitzer. And we are three dance film nerds who can't wait to take you on a deep dive into the crazy, complex, and exciting world at the intersection of dance and film. Over the next few months, we'll be delving into topics, trends, and issues in dance, film, and culture at large. We will also be sharing conversations with creators in the field, what inspires them, and the challenges they face when making their work. Always relevant, fresh each week, and on demand. Frameform, the sixth podcast from Rixie, premiering August 12th. Listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. From Rixie, this is The Daily Rec. I'm Hannah Weber, co-host of Rixie's new dance and film podcast, Frameform. Today's film recommendation is the 1995 Steven Soderbergh classic, Schizopolis. I first heard about this film in my independent film class back in graduate school. My teacher recommended it to me and uh, I watched it, but I didn't get to finish it because it was actually on Hulu at the time, which was hosting Criterion collection favorites, but then eventually it was gone. So the other day, I sat down and watched it on HBO Max, and I'm going to talk about it. I really liked Schizopolis, and I thought it was a three-part jigsaw puzzle that you don't really understand until you get to the third act. A lot of the lines in each scene is not completely revealed. In some cases, there's conversations that kind of have a Mad Lib approach. For instance, quoting from IMBD, there's a scene between one of the main characters and his wife. He gets home and he enters, saying, generic greeting. His wife, generic greeting, returned. He says, imminent sustenance. She says, overly dramatic statement regarding upcoming meal. He says, oof, false reaction indicating hunger and excitement. So just that little sneak peek of dialogue kind of gives you this idea of like, what the hell is this movie about? I felt like this experimental narrative was very out of the box. You don't see this coming. I mean, Steven Soderbergh is very much well known for doing high budget movies as well as doing bizarre films like these. In this case, he is actually starring in this film and also is featured as a double in the same narrative. You could say that this film has an opposite day approach where everyone is very honest in some of their dialogue. It almost gives you the idea of the film, The Fundamentals of Caring, which is a later film. But you could say that maybe the fundamentals of caring uh, took some of the elements from Schizopolis. Schizopolis constantly reminds you that you're watching a film and not a capture of reality or capture of a moment of time because everything is so made up. There's a lot of moments where you see interviews that are being interrupted as well as news moments that are totally fake and they're cussing on screen so you're constantly reminded that this is not a real story this is one giant jigsaw puzzle they literally in one section of the film say jigsaw constantly and you don't really figure it out until the end and see what the director is giving you as a story can't really say if there is a story honestly it's just kind of existing if you like to watch weird films that make no sense but then make some kind of sense in the third act then i definitely recommend watching schizopolis the link is in the show notes this has been your daily wreck see ya